Good evening, I'm Chris Matthews down in Washington. Let me start tonight with this nutcase up in Pennsylvania, this Republican leader who declared out loud what Democrats have been saying for months, that these new laws making it harder to vote, requiring government-issued photo ID cards and other moves are aimed at getting Romney and other Republicans elected. How rare it is when the perpetrator of a political scheme confesses its political nature. And that's what Majority Leader Mike Terzai did this weekend. He blew the cover. So so much for good government. He admitted the whole scheme was to win. Let's get to this GOP leader in the Keystone State and other states, this plan to kill off the older voters and others who might be planning. How dare they? We are focused on making sure that we meet our obligations that we've talked about for years. Pro Second Amendment, the Castle Doctrine is done. First pro-life legislation, abortion facility regulations in 22 years, done. Voter ID, which is going to allow Governor Romney to win the state of Pennsylvania, done. Not only did he say it out loud, it allowed Romney to carry Pennsylvania, this new voter requirement that requires the rather dif difficult efforts like going out if you're 80 years old and finding some place to get an ID card made by the government with a picture. And then they go out and applaud the guy. This wasn't any secret. They, all those Republicans in that room, Republican activists and, and party regulars, were cheering a guy who had just said, we did this thing to win an election, not to stop fraud.